Valerie Kalanji has been through a lot in the past three years. She's a survivor of a brutal New Year's Day attack in which two others were killed, including her boyfriend. Through her severe injuries and painful recovery, her daughter Maribel, or Mari as she called her, was the reason she woke up every morning. Not on Your Side spoke with Maribel just months after her mom's attack. I love her. I'm just happy that she's alive. But even though her mom made it out okay, Maribel did not. On June 3rd, 2014, everything changed. Kalanji and her family were living at this apartment complex on the east side. Maribel walked from here to her friend's house that afternoon. Kalanji still on pain medications six months after that deadly New Year's Day attack fell asleep. Kalanji immediately called Maribel's cell phone and started looking everywhere for her, wondering where she could be. We were driving around looking for her. Um, you know, going by places that she might been, friends, people, places, you know, you know, because I wasn't sure. The family then called for help. Law enforcement immediately classified Maribel as a runaway, something Kalanji says isn't true. But the family would soon learn what happened, a heart-wrenching realization. I put the news on. And, um, uh, and they said they found a body with a tattoo, a little tattoo. And I saw the tattoo, and I just basically fell to the floor and screaming, and I didn't want to believe it. And um, I was by myself, you know, so it was, I was trying to call my mom and her dad. The Pima County Sheriff's Department says Maribel's body was found in this desert area near Avra Valley Road and Trico Road three days later, nearly 40 miles away from her home. Who would do that to? Like, what kind of sick person would do that to a little girl? You know, and then treat her like a trash, like trash, like just throw her throw her out like nothing. Unfortunately, three years later, she still can't do anything. But I want to. <laughs> I mean. <sighs> After three years of waiting, just last week, the Pima County Sheriff's Department reopened the case, going back to where they started, the desert area near Avra Valley Road and Trico Road. Detectives are searching for new evidence that may lead to an arrest However, no arrests have been made yet. Maribel's death is an ongoing investigation. If you know anything about Maribel's death, her mother just wants to know what happened. And I would tell him, you know, to do the right thing and to help me, help me in my heart, you know, help us, help us get justice or find who did this because what if he's doing this to other people? Maribel might not be around anymore, but her mom says sharing her story is keeping her memory alive today. Being a mom like that, my days, those days are not here anymore. So doing things like this is my way of being a mom. I love her. I'm just happy that she's alive. Carlos Herrera, Kega 9, on your side.